All right, let's move on. I did post a the three count question of the week. This one uh, was brought That's on. That's a better theme than the new Keith Lee theme. Oh, come on now. Put that out there right now. Yeah, you fucking mark for yourself. Um, the uh, WWE on Fox posted the top five NXT superstars of all time. I will get to some of the uh, responses we got on social media for that. But uh, we'll go around the room. We'll go. We'll start at five. Go around four. Go around. So it was. We'll build up to our number ones. Uh, my number five uh, is Finn Balor. I, you know, he had a two hundred. I think it was two hundred and forty uh, plus day title reign. Um, you know, we we saw the the demon character for the first time. You know, the the interactive entrance, both uh, as Finn Balor and as the demon, um, and and just you know, really kind of set himself up to. Um, you know, to, to start him on the main roster that eventually led to a, uh, universal title win before he threw his arm back when he probably shouldn't have on the match against Seth Rollins, but in NXT spectacular Finn Balor is my number five, uh, Tim, we'll go to you. Oh, we're going five to one. Yeah. Um, number five to me is going to be, um, mm, good question. Um, Number five for me will probably be Sami Zayn. Okay. Um, a guy who you don't necessarily think of anymore being from NXT, but man, he has some of the most iconic NXT matches. Um, his match with Kevin Owens, um, his match with Cesaro, um, like, those are big moments and big matches and his match with uh, Shinsuke Nakamura at takeover Dallas. Like um, Sami Zayn is easily on this Mount Rushmore um, and is my number five. Yeah. I mean, some people that Nakamura match as their best NXT match of all time. Uh, Ryan, you're number five. Tim, you're absolutely right with putting Sami Zayn on the list. Um, I think you can really, in my mind, you can go back uh, to the very first TakeOver special arrival. Um, it started with Cesaro and Sami Zayn, and uh, they did that little jump through the second and third turnbuckle DDT spot, um, and I was absolutely hooked. I thought this is something uh, very special. I was not a huge NXT consumer prior to arrival, um, and that absolutely made me a fan. Um Plus, his interactions with Kevin Owens was a story so well told, um, you know, for, for a, a wrestling promotion that often gets shat on for not telling stories. Man, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn's story was just beautiful. So, number five belongs to Sami Zayn on my list. Okay. And uh, in turn, Mark. Oh, boy. Um, number five, I'm going to have to go with Adam Rose. All right, I'm joking. <laughs> but I'd like you with Adam Rose. I can never be sure with you, Mark. I, I was going to hit this. He's one of my favorites. <laughs> we can never be sure. Yeah, it, it's hard to tell sometimes. Um, I think I'm going to do uh, number five. I think I'll go with Asuka, undefeated NXT Women's Champion. That's tough to beat, no pun intended. So I'm going to put Asuka up there at number five. Um, let's see here, Charlie, you don't, you can enter them all at one time. You don't have to. Okay. never mind. Um, Jason has Shayna as his number five. Uh, Devin, I'm going to assume Sami Zayn is his number five. Charlie, I don't know which way you're going because you're just entering them one at a time. So Sammy maybe, um, is, is his number five. Uh, my number four is, uh, is Shayna Baszler. Um, her long and impressive run as NXT women's champion, um, and, you know, just r running through that division, um, for, uh, for as good as it, as it was, um, it's just Shayna Baszler, my, uh, my number four, Tim. I've also got the queen of spades right here at four, um, first two time. NXT Women's Champion, I believe. That is correct. Um, so, 
um, really carried much like Asuka and Bailey really was a transitional piece for the NXT women's division um, in a time of harvest to the main roster. Um, Bailey was first Bailey was um, Bailey was the champion when the other three of the horse women got called up. Then they rebuilt the crop. Asuka was the champion when bliss and Bailey and Carmella and all the other women got called up. And then Shayna, very much the same way. Asuka, Kyrie, um, like all the women at the, in that group gets moved it up as well. Um, and Shayna really doesn't get a lot of, I don't think we'll get a lot of credit when you, when you boil it down. Um, but absolutely number four um, for me. Uh, uh, Spades. Ryan, number four. Uh, I'll, I'll flop my three and four just to keep it theme with the uh, with the women. I will go Oscar as my as my number four. Her uh, 522 day reign um, as NXT champion I thought was uh, a bar setter, um, the longest single reign in in NXT. Uh, Shayna has her beat with her two reigns, but um, I just thought what she did to that division and, and held the championship for so long. Um, just was an, an unbeatable beast in NXT. Was so excited to see her call up um, and what they were going to do with, with that. So uh, Asuka will be my number four. In turn, Mark, your number four. Number four. Mm-hmm. Boy, I'll go with, uh, I think, what do you call them? Tomato, tomato mm-hmm. chips. Tomato chips. Tomato chips. <laughs> that was. <laughs> I'll go with tomato chips as my number four. I really enjoyed his feud with uh, with Johnny Gargano, and uh, I, I said I think he was one of the best heels, actually the best heel in WWE for a time. So he's going to get my vote at number four, tomato chips. Very good. Uh, Jason's number four is Kevin Owens. Uh, Charlie rewrote his number. His number five was Adam Cole. Bay Bay. His number four is Bailey. Um, Let's see, I'll just read, I'll read off Devin's. He had Cole, Johnny Wrestling, Ciampa, Finn, and Sami Zayn uh, as his top five. Uh, moving on to number three. My number three is Kevin Owens um, from his debut when he broke his nose and then power bombed Sami onto the apron uh, through his time as NXT champion. And of course, the debut against John Cena. It, it felt like every single thing that Kevin Owens did in NXT not only was important, but was like must see, like he just he 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 screamed, watch this from the moment he stepped into NXT. Um, obviously, being a bigger guy uh, myself, um, you know, seeing what Kevin Owens does in the ring is just ridiculous, um, and it just defies logic. Uh, so that plays into it as well. Um, so for me, my number three is uh, is Kevin Owens. Tim. Uh, my number three is going to be a little blasphemous, but Uh-oh. Uh, my number three is Adam Cole. Um, very what? much, very much the current face of NXT. Um, he is the person who is the cornerstone of this brand. Um, in, in all respect, I probably should have put Kevin Owens at five instead of Sami Zayn, but I, I feel like Sami deserved the credit he got. Um, or didn't get, um, but Adam Cole, um, a cornerstone for NXT right now. Um, what the undisputed era did or is doing and did do, um, for NXT was a very weird time in which for a four person act was the most over, um, piece, um, on, in the company without Adam Cole coming in. Um, and giving the group of um, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish uh, a, a, a sense of cohesion, and then the adding of Roderick Strong all around Adam Cole. Um, I think it, it really speaks to what um, Adam Cole means to NXT and why the Undisputed Era is probably going to be when they do get called up, they need to be called up together. Yeah, I agree. It definitely needs to happen. 
Um, I thought they were doing a funeral for Cody Rhodes on on AEW. I don't know who was that in the uh, in the coffin. They have a bunch of. Uh... Oh, okay. They're mocking Cody. I got it. The uh, the Dark Order. I hope um, it's just full of all Cody Rhodes' action figures. <laughs> but they had a bunch of like lawn equipment and a and they brought out a coffin. Um, Ryan, you're number three. Tim, what was the word you used uh, for your number three? Blasphemous. Yeah, a little blasphemy. I, I think I could probably use the uh, the same term here, um, as the kids would say. These guys were over AF. They were the NXT Tag Team of the Year in 2015, and quite frankly, you can't teach that. I had Who? Enzo and Kath on my list. Who? I think you can go back and and uh, what we know now, we know now. But go back and watch some of their interactions from the beginning with. Uh, Sylvester Lafour and uh, Marcus Louis to um, American Alpha, The Ascension. Uh, man, it was the Vaude Villains. It was a fun, fun time in the tag team division. In I just watched and that payback guys, where Enzo got his head kadoinked off the uh, mat against the Vaude Villains. It was a lot of good times, really, if you, if you look back on it. It's, it's very uh, remembered favorably, let's say that. Those guys were over as hell. Jim didn't like it. I think that made me like it even more. Uh, yeah, I just so intact, yeah, I didn't get it when they were in NXT. Yeah, that's fine. You can't teach it, Jim. You just have to get it. Um, but I think I think you eventually got it. Um, they were my four. They're now my three because I felt the need to keep the women in four for some reason with everybody else. So Enzo and Cass, numero three on Ryan's list. Okay, very good. What? Uh, I got a soft belt buckle. How how can I not? You got a soft something. Uh <laughs> <laughs> in turn mark. Oh my. How about you? For uh, for Ryan could use some blue chew. <laughs> in turn mark, who's your number three? Um, say, uh, oh man, I was really thinking about putting Enzo and Cass on the list here. I was a huge fan of both of them. Do it and then for Blue Pants. Carmella in there, and they, the three of them were great. I know Blue Pants, if it wasn't for Enzo and Cats, we'd have no Blue Pants. At least I don't think we'd have any Blue Pants. Um, well, now we don't even uh, have Blue Pants. For me, I'm going to go with, uh, now we have a librarian, but she has blue hair. <laughs> yeah. But still, Shh. I miss Blue Pants. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Kevin Owens as my number three, pretty much for all the reasons that have already been stated. Um, yeah, KO, uh, fantastic in NXT, uh, transitions the main roster very well, but I'm going to go KO. Kevin Owens, my number three. All right, Jason's number three, Seth Rollins. Um, people forget. So I think some people forget that they were all uh, NXT folk. Uh, my number two is uh, the man who's kind of been the current face of uh, of NXT, and um, for the reasons that Tim listed, so I won't get long winded with it. But Adam Cole, Bay Bay, is uh, is my number two. I almost wanted to put like the full undisputed era at number two, but they they kind of do go hand in hand. But since it was the the specific question was top five like superstars. I will I will go just with the the leader of the pack, Bebe. Tim, you're number two. Uh, my number two is going to be probably when it. I think when NXT is all is said and done, the one name that you'll probably associate most with NXT is Johnny Gargano. Uh, Johnny Gargano. Um, was really like the through line for a lot of some of NXT's most modern history. Um, Triple crown champion. Um, His feud of the year with Tommaso Ciampa. um, Also involved in some of the greatest tag matches in NXT history. With uh, the Revival. um, The Authors of Pain. Um, I think they were in there with American Alpha at some point too. I believe. Um, but 
without Johnny Gargano being the the kind of driving force for NXT um, and being that purveyor of good during the time against Tommaso Ciampa, um, you, NXT really doesn't get to where it is right now. I, I honestly don't think so. I don't think that it's its own brand independently without or not brand, but its own television show. Yeah, it, on like it, it the probably USA stays. Network. Yeah, probably stays on the network. Right. Um, so to me, uh, Johnny Gargano, number two. Solid. Uh, Ryan, you're number two. Uh, my number two is Kevin Owens. Um, again, I think ties right in with what I said about Sami Zayn, the story that those two told. Um, the moment that Kevin Owens was it was it was it Sami Zayn won. Kevin Owens came down to celebrate, and then walking back up the ramp, just like yucking him. Oh my God! Yeah, the power uh, bomb on the uh, on you the never, apron. That's a moment that, uh, quite frankly, you never saw coming, and uh, really again hooked me. With with NXT and uh, God, what a what a great storyline those guys told uh, from his call up, uh, everything. So Kevin Owens number two. Guys, would you would you believe that a segment on AEW is just pure chaos, just just a full chaotic moment? They have got great referees down there to keep control of the action. Well, no, this is actually it's not actually during a tag team match, but it's it's just a segment. I'm sure there'll be chaos at the end of the the tag match that'll likely close the show. It's uh, okay. Anna Jay's out there. I I don't I don't care. <laughs> Insert Mark, you're number two. Number two, I got to go with uh, Adam Cole. Bay Bay. Bay. And I don't know that I could add any more to what everybody's already said about him, but uh, what an addition to any roster. But NXT and the Undisputed Era just tearing it up. So Adam Cole for my number two. Uh, Jason had his um, number two as the faction of the four horsewomen. Charlie had Sami Zayn uh, as his number two. He had Asuka at three. I forgot to read his. Uh, it was Asuka at three. He said he was N- Sammy was NXT long before uh, Johnny Wrestling. And then let's go to our number ones, and then I'll read a couple more from the uh, the, the original social media post. Uh, I have Asuka as my number one. Her long title reign i mean there there's there's been incredible women like i looked at putting Paige on my list um you know because she was the nxt women's champion upon call up and and then became the divas champion um obviously bailey and sasha and becky and charlotte and 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 everything that they did for the women's division there but oscar took it to a completely different level and yeah was 600 some days as as women's champion and um you know could could probably still be the women's champion um you know in in nxt if she was still there and obviously it set her up for uh greatness um in uh in the wwe so absolutely without question when i when i think about nxt pretty much the first person that comes to my mind is is oscar tim you're number one well, wouldn't you know, we're on the same page. I have Asuka <laughs> as well at number one. Um, very much for the same Kobe. reason Johnny Gargano is two. Um, Asuka, um, while some are going to point to Bailey as being the most NXT, um, Asuka really gave, really, really gave an identity to the women's division. Um, unlike many, anyone else. Um, and she'll forever be known as the the probably the only champion in that company's history that vacated the title to go and do greater things sure um to me the we are nxt chant um is gonna kind of be asuka's um and it it went to everyone else uh as well um but no one's ready. No one was. No one was ready for Asuka, and, and no one ever will. My God, TNA is peddling the X chair uh, on every commercial break during uh, during Dynamite. Uh, the uh, this office chair hundred hundred dollars off and a thirty day free trial. Um, Ryan, you're number one. Uh, my number one is Pat McAfee. 
I don't know why he wouldn't have made anybody else's list. Um, but single-handedly did more for the brand than anybody else. No, it's uh, it's obviously Adam Cole. Um, I think, you know, so I'm mean, so good on, on the WWE to not miss the Adam Cole boat to not allow him to go um, to impact or, or stay with ring of honor or something like that. But uh, if you think Adam Cole is, is great now, go check out some of his ring of honor stuff. It's just, it's phenomenal. Adam Cole. Um, and really the whole undisputed action, um, the whole undisputed era faction um, is, is, is really, really good. Such a great, um, a great faction. I, I personally, I hope they never get called up. I really do. I hope, uh, they are like NXT standard bears. And, uh, I think they just, they just fit perfectly, perfectly fine there. Adam Cole, baby. And it's our Mark, your number one. My number one, I gotta go with, uh, Johnny Gargano, Mr. Wrestling. I think, uh, once it's all said and done, Years from now, NXT, when you look back, I think Johnny Gargano is going to be the guy you think of when it comes to NXT. Johnny's my number one. Congratulations, Johnny. There you go. Um, Charlie had Finn Balor as his number one. And then uh, looking here at uh, some of our responses from our uh, social media, uh, Daniel had... Um, Nakamura at five, Bailey, Oscar, Rollins, and Adam Cole as his number one. Uh, Chase, uh, f- long time listener of the show, uh, had Adam Rose at number five, Johnny Gargano at number four, and then Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens as three, two, and one. Um, where did the Patriot land on his list? Uh, he, he didn't, he didn't land on his NXT list. Um, stat guy, Greg fought, had five, uh, Finn Balor, four, Bo Dallas, three, Johnny Gargano, two, Oscar, one, Adam Cole, uh, JJ had Baylor, Balor, Sammy, Cole, Sasha, and Oscar, uh, on his, and then Jason here at Adam Cole, uh, as his number one. So, um, yeah, I mean, all of these lists, we obviously always appreciate the, uh, the responses and the feedback. Um, always good stuff there. 